Hey guys, what's up? Um, I don't have fancy editing software for this video, but I had the um, Nearly Naked powder for a while, so now I'm actually moving on to the foundation today. And um, I really, really, really love it. I'm really impressed. Um, it has medium to almost full coverage. It really does like improve some coverage, but for the purpose of this video as well, I'm also going to add the Derma Blend. So I put a layer of Derma Blend. Um, my foundation and then the powder over it which gives everything such a flawless finish but yet really does let your natural skin breathe so um, my dog is going psycho so I'll be right back I don't have editing software like I said before okay so now I'm going to start with um, a little first okay let me just do this side of my face with just like, you know, one little layer of this stuff. Um, so you can just see how it covers on its own before I start adding in, you know, concealer and all that other stuff. So the shade that I selected also is a little darker for me. Maybe this is more for my summer shade. But yeah. Sometimes more warmer colors cancel out a lot of scarring. I don't have a lot of acne scarring anymore. But when I did, you know, or if you do, this is probably like really good for that. So, this is the coverage of the actual foundation alone. It gets in there really well. But for me, there's still little spots of concern that, you know, I kind of want to cover. But the shade is also a little dark for me, so that's why I also add my concealer for that as well. So, now on this side, I'm just going to add a dot of my Derma Blend Concealer. Just to give more coverage. And I'm going to blend that out. Now I'm going to add another little layer of the um, foundation. Alright, so now this is the actual foundation on this side of my face with the concealer and this is with it alone. You could see that my face looks a little bit more flawless on this side because I added the extra coverage with the concealer than on this side. This side with like just one layer, it really kind of sort of just color corrects. So that's why I do what I do. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of concealer to the opposite side. just to give me some of that coverage back. But I prefer my um, foundations and things to be lighter coverage because you don't want to have like cake face. Cake face is basically when you're just applying, applying, applying foundation. Foundation is just used to even out the skin tone and then concealer is to hide and conceal. So yeah. But overall, I'm really happy. The staying power is, um, I don't know, I would say about four to six hours, and then the powder actually really helps as well. Um, it's really good at photo wise. It takes beautiful pictures. It looks awesome. It looks amazing. So now I'm just going to set this with the powder. You don't need to, but I do because sometimes it looks a little bit dewy, but it makes your skin look absolutely perfect. So now I just press this into my skin. And this is really going to give you like an airbrush look.
I always press it in and then rub it out so that you don't like disturb the con the concealer and everything that you did. Okay. Well, this is my review of the Nearly Naked Foundation and the powder, you know, all this good things. So everything I used is right here. My e.l.f. $1 Kabuki brush that broke, but I love it. So I'll go get another one soon. My Derma Blend Concealer, the powder, and the foundation and natural tan. And this is a medium dark. So thank you so much, guys. And I hope you love this foundation as much as I love it, too. I'm very impressed. Very impressed. It's very comparable to Urban Decay Naked Foundation. I actually mixed the sample that was too light yesterday with this, and it was amazing. So I'm really excited. So thank you so much, and have a nice day, and have happy holidays, guys.